And now, your Big Two Local Weather Authority forecast. We warn you first with meteorologist Derek Sibley. And good morning, everybody. Here's a live look outside downtown Midland, looking pretty clear and calm right now at the moment. All thanks to our West Texas State Bank Sky Tracker for this live image. All right, let's go ahead and switch over to the satellite and radar picture. And it does show that we only have not too much in the way of cloud cover whatsoever. Earlier this morning, we did see a couple of clouds off towards the west in, Har in Carlsbad and Hobbs. But right now, across the area, looking pretty good. And I'm not expecting any clouds here to really form throughout the day today. So that means we have another good day here of sunshine. Across the rest of the region here, expecting sunshine. Sunshine conditions all throughout the day today. You can see here by our in-house computer forecast model doing a pretty good job, not showing too much in the way of cloud cover whatsoever. But then, but then by Thursday, I am in, I am forecasting more clouds here to move across the basin. This is associated, by the way, with our next storm system that will push its way from west to east, and it will bring us some more thunderstorms. And this will really kick up our rain chances as we head into Friday. You can see a couple of thunderstorms here up towards the north and up towards the northern basin as well, and all stretching all the way down towards I-10. So we do have a good chance here of thunderstorms as well. Now tomorrow, the Storm Prediction Center has outlined a slight risk here of severe weather up towards the north and northeastern sections of the basin. This does include Midland and La Mesa, so be careful out there. A slight risk basically means that severe thunderstorms are possible. Scattered severe thunderstorms are possible. We're looking at large hail damaging winds as the primary threats there. All right, so here's a look at our wind speed. Southerly wind speeds between 12 to 15 miles per hour uh, throughout the day today. Southwesterly winds here turning uh, during the afternoon time frame between 12 and 15 as well. And then as we head into tomorrow, these wind speeds generally here will begin to pick up around 15 to 20 miles per hour thanks to that next low pressure system that's going to bring us some uh, some thunderstorms tomorrow and Friday. And then uh, you can see here still out of the south around 15 to 25 miles per hour. Now speaking of those winds, it, very, it, it, it was a very gusty day across the basin. Anywhere between the 40 to 50 mile per hour wind speeds across the basin. We had a wind gust of 72 miles per hour that was recorded along the Guadalupe Pass thanks to those higher elevations kicking up those wind speeds. Definitely it was a very gusty day across the basin. Now today I'm expecting a much more a nice weather. We're going to be warmer and we are going to see some thunderstorm chances possibly increasing throughout the end of the week. And the only difference that I was going to say was that the wind speeds today are definitely going to be a lot calmer. As you can see here by your day planner, I'm expecting wind speeds generally around the 10 to 15 mile per hour range. Definitely not like what we saw yesterday where wind speeds were around 30 to 40 with gusts to 50 like what we saw earlier on that map. Temperatures here in the lower 90s for us. All right, speaking of those temperatures, here's a look at your almanac. Yesterday we saw a high temperature here of 80 degrees, definitely below normal for this time of year, just shy of 90 degrees. Same here for our lows. We are we were significantly below normal thanks to that cold front that brought us the cooler weather. Today though, a little bit of a different story. I'm expecting temperatures here generally into the lower 90s, so slightly above normal for this time of the year. All right, let's take a look now at your temperatures for the northern basin. I'm expecting temperatures generally anywhere into the upper 80s to lower 90s. 92 should be the warm spots for for Carlsbad and Jow up to the northwest and for the central basin should be seeing uh, temperatures here in the low 90s so a little bit warmer off towards the south. Trans-Pecos should see temperatures here generally in the uh, mid-90s to upper 90s, so definitely a warm day is in store for us. Mountains here anywhere could see 80, between 86 degrees to as high as 102 for you in Presidio. Definitely the warm spot there, no question about that. It is definitely going to be a much warmer day than what we saw yesterday across the basin. So in general today, high temperature of 92 degrees. I don't expect a next best rain chance to occur until probably late tonight, if anything, very, very late tonight. In into the early morning hours tomorrow, and then we see our rain chances really skyrocket here up to 60% here on Friday, and that should linger into the weekend, but I don't think it's going to be a washout for this weekend by any means. I just think we could see some isolated here and there thunderstorms to end the work week here in the weekend. Well, that's not good, especially on the weekend. Even yeah. though if it's isolated, it could be right over your swimming pool that or is something true. like that, but yeah, good point we'll take there. our chances. Good news is, though, it's getting warmer here. The summer, the summer heat temperatures are finally headed our way, which I've been waiting to see. <laughs>